speaking in an interview on the BBC's The One Show, the Duchess said she felt excellent about the prospect of becoming a grandmother and declared that she will be the best mother-in-law to Jack The Duchess commented on her excitement, stating, They are thrilled because I write children's books and I'm a child, I haven't grown up While Eugenie and Jack have not commented on the prospect of having children, if they were to have kids, their offspring run the risk of missing out on exclusive royal titles Carolyn Harris, royal author and historian, commented on the issue to Town and Country, stating, Princess Eugenie's children will not have titles unless the Queen decides to bestow an earldom on Jack Brooks Bank Titles typically pass down the male line of families, and as Mr. Brooks Bank does not currently possess a title, it is likely his children will also remain commoners The Queen would consequently need to grant Jack an earldom in order to confer royal titles to his children Ms. Harris noted that Anthony Armstrong Jones was granted an earldom by the Queen when he married Princess Margaret in 1960 Their children, including Lady Sarah Chatto, inherited titles befitting for the children of an earl However, when Princess Anne married Captain Mark Phillips in 1973, he was not granted an earldom by the Queen and their children did not receive royal titles Ms. Harris said, Princess Anne's children are therefore Mark Phillips and Zara Phillips Assuming that Jack Brooks Bank does not receive an earldom, Princess Eugenie's children will not have titles Eugenie will likely be unfazed about whether Jack receives an earldom from her grandmother or not and will be focusing her energy on preparations for her much-anticipated nuptials The Duchess of York commented on the preparations, stating, Jack and Eugenie are very contemporary, they are very inclusive and they are all about love and they want this wedding to be about that, to include everybody and to really absorb the love they have for each other with everybody else She vowed to bring a united front to the wedding alongside her ex-husband, the Duke of York She said, the thing about Andrew and I is that we go with our hearts, we go with family unity We really believe in that The wedding also promises to be a joyous affair, with the Duchess describing her future son-in-law as a bringer of light She said, he'll just hand me the tequila and say, come on mother-in-law and down it